Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, mysterious voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have encountered in my travels. Today, it is Poetry Thursday, so I wanted to talk about some uh, some interesting poetry that I've read recently. Uh, I will be talking about a poem that is about war and the reasons for war. I am referring to War Voyeurs by... Juan Philippe Herrera. This specific poem was published in 2008 in his book of poetry, Half of the World in Light, um, which I haven't read, but I think would be pretty interesting. Um, For those who don't know, Juan Philippe Herrera is a Latino writer uh, born in America, in California, I think, specifically. Um, He uh, is known for writing poetry, doing theater, and uh, writing books, um, cra- I think one of the one of the books he wrote was a a novel in uh, poetry form, which uh, I think I've read one of those before. And in fact, the book that I encountered from him that uh, w- was something that I maybe might have read in in middle school or high school. It looks very familiar. And may, if I didn't read it, it was probably in my library or something like that. But I really feel like I did read it. Um, the The description wasn't ringing a bell, but I feel like I've heard it somewhere before. But regardless, uh, Juan Felipe Pereira is a celebrated poet. Uh, he was, was named a poet laureate um, uh, of the United States, which is always impressive. And uh, he is... Uh, he was given a an honorary doctorate from some other university. I don't remember which one, but that's always impressive too. So it seems like he's doing pretty well for himself. And without further ado, let us talk about this poem that he wrote. Uh, a fairly interesting one. Uh, I will read it, do a bit of an analysis, and we will move on from there. War Voyeurs. I do not understand why men make war. Is it because artillery is the most stoic example of what flesh can become? Is it because the military plan is the final map drawn by the wisest hunter? Is it because the neutron ray is the invincible finger no one will disobey? Or is it because the flood of blood is the proper penance workers must pay for failing tribute at the prescribed hour? I do not understand why men make war. Is it because when death is multiple and expanding, there among the odd assemblages, arbitrary and unnamed, there among the shriveled mountains distorted and hollow, there among the liquid farms and cities, cold and sallow, there among the splintered bones of children, women, men, and cattle, there and only there the eerie head of power is being born? Is it because submission is the only gesture to be rehearsed, to be dressed, to be modeled, to be cast, to be chosen in the one and only one drama to be staged in the theater of this world where everyone must act with the backbone humbled with the mascara of bondage, with the lipstick of slaves under the light of gentle assassination, with applause piercing the ground forever? Or is it because war is the secret room of all things to be kept sealed and contained, to be conquered and renamed woman enclosed by an empire of walls, vaults, hinges, and locks with the hot key that men and only men must possess for an eternal evening to visit and contemplate, to snap open a favorite window and gaze at the calibrated murder as lovers of beauty. In terms of analysis, what a what a, a poem, what a, a very powerful uh, poem that that examines war and, and seeks to question what its purpose is. Um, as you can see by reading the poem, uh, it's clear that there's he doesn't have an answer for what war is. He asks multiple questions. You know, is is it about you know what is it about the artillery? Is it about being a hunter? Is it about you know the power of the of the neutron ray, which I figure is related to the nuclear bomb? Um, is it a punishment for for uh, the average worker? What is it? And I think by asking these questions, he reveals a lot into the um, 
the insight of, of why we might do war, uh, specifically with the last three verses, which I find to be extremely powerful. Um, he, uh, specifically, the, uh, the third to last verse where he says, Is it because when death is multiple and expanding, there among the odd assemblages, arb arbitrary and unnamed, there among the shriveled mountains, distorted and hollow, there among the liquid farms and city, cold and sallow, there among the splintered bones of children, women, and men and cattle, there and only there, the eerie head of power is being born. And I feel like that's a very powerful like statement right there, what he's saying. He's asking a question, but he's saying something about humanity in the process. Uh, because in war, like we often seek to gain power, whether it be through land, through resources, um, just or through status or something like that. And so we're trying to get power. But you can see he's asking like only through the murder of children and the death of, of cattle and women and by turning farms and cities into liquid filled with blood and just damaging mountains and then in nature and ruining all of this can we exchange this power is that why we do war is that is that how we see power changing hands it doesn't have to be this way i think that's what uh, herrera is getting at like it doesn't have to be this way you can exchange power in literally any other way and yet we choose not to do that the second to last verse it seems like he's saying that war is kind of staged like we are are putting on a, a show for the world which in the in the era of tw 24 hour news coverage maybe that's the case maybe like in the iraq war and the war in afghanistan and the recent war in ukraine like it's a it's a stage show for the people of the world um and we're put we're we're like murdering people and bombing cities uh a set dressing for this this sort of world we created the stage show that we created um which says a lot of very you know weird things about humanity in general that we're willing to you know let these people die for the sake of entertainment and then the last verse which is really interesting and is as sort of like war is this this sort of uh right or this sort of thing about humanity that we value and treasure and so we we keep it in a, in a metaphorical locked room and we, we we visit it every so every so often to say oh you remember that war that was an interesting one and we admire the beauty uh or as he says and gaze at the calibrated murder as lovers of beauty and so like we look at the tanks and the nuclear weapons and we admire it from afar um uh, I don't think that's everybody necessarily believes that, but those in power might see it as something to be admired, um, which is harmful because it only leads to further war. Um, and that's th this all says something very nasty and unfortunate about humanity, that we're engaging in war not for the principle of war itself, but for what we think war can give us, either power or entertainment or uh, a nice recollection when we think about it later pretty harsh, pretty sad. And this all makes me think of, of the war in Ukraine right now, how we see that 24 hour news coverage and people playing their parts. And some people even like reflecting on the Iraq war with like nostalgia or something like that. Or um, we're, we're watching all these people die, these, city, these cities be shelled. And we see like Putin trying to gain power as well as NATO trying to re retain their power in the region. And it's only, it's only hurting people like it's we it, it's what is this all for like this war is for nothing it seems like so we're just trying to grab the last vestiges of the soviet union or the world war ii era nato power and we're using ukraine to do it and that people are dying it's senseless it means nothing and i think that's what juan felipe Pereira is getting at with this poem it's 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 a very sad and hurt like it hurts to read, but I think it's very necessary to read because we have to reflect on what war means. Why do we keep doing it so often, um, and who keeps making us do it? We should be asking those questions. Anyway, those are my thoughts on War Voyeurs by Juan Felipe Herrera, a pretty good poem, one that I recommend that you absolutely check out. Uh, it certainly spoke to me um, as I was as I was reading through poetry um, uh, last week and um, my like 
like it made me think of the war in Ukraine and also several recent wars and how you know those have been costly and deadly and just not good and I think we should all reflect on that you know whenever when I, not only when war happens but when it doesn't happen so we can remind ourselves why we don't want it um, why we why it shouldn't be happening um, if you have any other comments to say about this poem do so below let's have a discussion about war voyeurs otherwise um, don't forget to like share and subscribe so that more people can find out about uh, poetry Thursday as well as this poem if they don't know about it already and until then I wish you the best of luck in your weird travels uh, no war in Ukraine uh, no war anywhere those are my thoughts bye